Welcome everybody. Sens Bramble Talk here. Uh, let's take a, let's get dive right into it. Sens just uh, just finished. Sens game just finished. Um, let's go with uh, just uh, the first period. Let's start with the. I've been all over the place. I know I've, that's a couple of notes that I've been told. So um, I'm going to kind of start with the first period, second and third, and then that, that hopefully will kind of keep it more streamlined. Um, anyway, so let's get started. Um, one thing even before the game started, I almost that we I, I've I've always seen the Sens always had kind of had Price's number a little bit throughout the years. Um, I don't know if anybody else agrees with me, but I've always noticed that. So, um, <clears throat> so I don't, I don't know. That's just something that I kind of noticed, but I don't know if anybody else did. So Ottawa starts off not too far into the, the first period, four-minute power play. Not too bad, uh, not too shabby of a start. Um, they, they, they had a great power play, that power play. It was amazing. Great, tons of chances, of course. Can't bear one. Price actually played really well. Uh, he bailed uh, the Habs out for sure there, <clears throat> so no goals, but they did play. They played well. Um, and then another thing I noticed that Montreal uh, first ten minutes, I noticed that they they already seemed like a different team. You could kind of tell with the new coach, um, they're not quite the same team they used to be. Um, and you can tell that right right from the get go, basically. Um, <clears throat> bit of sloppy play by the Senators as well. Um, the Cord made some nice saves. Um, they went 12 minutes, I think over 12 minutes in the first, without a single shot on net. So, I know the old saying, uh, Gretzky saying, right? I'm not even going to say it again. You know the Gretzky saying. 100% <clears throat> of the shots you don't take. You know, whatever. Um, but, yeah, I mean, it's true in this case, right? you got to shoot. Um, there's a couple of times I saw, like, a couple of players, uh, Stutzel and Batherson, beautiful chances to take a great shot, and they didn't. I, I don't understand why <clears throat> why they're all of a sudden especially Batherson who seems to be scoring left right and center um I don't understand that but whatever 12 over 12 minutes without a shot um it seems like and, and another thing too I noticed as the game as the first period went along Montreal seemed to they seem to be is he, are they a trap team all of a sudden now I, I was god it was a snore fest a little bit um I found myself a couple times just like like oof. Something happened. I mean, come on. Just back and forth. Stop. Stop. No, 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 no. So, whatever. Um, anyways, and end of the periods ends up... Not too much in that period went on, to be honest. That first period is kind of boring. <clears throat> uh, shots were eight. Uh, from For Ottawa, Montreal had 13. Um, pretty somewhat even period, I would say. Second period is a little different, obviously, as you know. Um, Ottawa settles in a bit more. They seem to be getting a bit more... Less sloppy, if you want to call. I don't know what the proper word would be. <clears throat> um, um, Price again. Price making some great saves. Ottawa did have some good chances, but Price was right there and he looked very calm. Uh, but then, then my, uh, something we're probably going to everyone's going to talk about is the penalties. Um, oh boy, good Branson. I mean, what? Oh, what is going on with him? Honestly, I don't understand what he was thinking uh it all started from that <clears throat> you know that shot uh icing and then i don't get it then montreal comes back and they're tired obviously the sends are tired why is it so good branson has to stay on i get that part but then why did he stay on after when the, he got um when the penalty happened who was it was i think it was two got a, a high sticking why why was he still on there? He's been on there for two minutes, and they keep him on there. <clears throat> I don't know if that's a that's a DJ thing or is that a Gabranson's like, no, I'm not getting off, I'm staying on, and then it leads to the goal, of course, and then um, and he not even does it lead to a goal, but it leads to him high sticking. Uh, I believe it was Gallagher after Gallagher scored high sticking with blood, four minute, four minutes for that. So that that sequence right there, all that, all that stuff was all. I mean, I know it's a team thing, but it, I mean, a lot of it was Gabranson. I mean, come on. I mean, you you can see that, right? You can see the Gabranson there. Why, why, why do they play him so much? I, I don't understand why they play. I get that the veterans and then they need to teach the teach the young guys and then and then and then. But first of all, he was having a terrible game, and you could see he was not having a good game. <clears throat> and you're keeping him on there on a power play where he's already been on, on a penalty kill, sorry, when he's already been on all this time. Anyways, 
whatever. Um, doesn't really make a lot of sense to me, but what, what do I know, right? What do I know? So, um, not much chance for Decord on those two goals. Uh, you could maybe argue the second one a little bit, but um, that was a nice shot by Petrie, I think it was. Um, pretty pretty solid shot. Um, to be honest, yeah, Decord didn't have much chance on either of the goals. Not his fault at all. Um, and then, so, okay, so it's 2 nothing. Second period, 2 nothing. I think we're about halfway through, roughly. Um, Ottawa gets a penalty. Uh, Ottawa gets a power play. I don't know what's wrong with me today. Ottawa gets a power play. Uh, you know, it's one of those, uh, you know, shoots out of the, I guess, the uh, delay game. So, like, okay, maybe it's a good chance. Ottawa had a good power play last time. Let's see it. Let's let's do this. And what happens? Absolutely nothing. In fact, Montreal had the better chances on that power play. I, 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 don't, I think, did even Ottawa have a shot in that whole time? I don't even know. I'm not even sure if Ottawa had a shot there. And, and they just, I mean... Just like I, I don't know what it was. Like they're not even like ah, you know, Montreal's not gonna do anything. We're just gonna gonna half fall asleep here and and slowly pass it over here and we'll slowly pass. Oh, what are you doing? You're down two nothing and you've got a power play and you're in our zone the whole time. I I, I don't whatever. Anyways, uh, <clears throat> just a horrible effort. I gotta say right now, horrible effort there. I get it. People say, well, they're tired. They played all these games. Well, so what is every other team? All the other teams are like that. They're all playing a million games. So what? Like, oh, man. Uh, you know, that frustrated me a little bit. Um, and then, you know, just about before the end of the period, of course, um, the Zub does actually get one in. Um, and I, that's one guy i got to say. Um, and I'm going to say it right now. For my player of the game, I think it's him because he's the only one that seemed to do anything this game. Um, I don't find I, – I, I can't see anybody who had a decent game. Um, other than maybe him and, I mean, Kachuk was okay, I guess. I didn't really see much from Kachuk this game. Um, uh, it's a little frustrating, and I get they're tired. I get they just played last night, and I think so. I think I was, I was, I was hearing that Montreal just had a week off, I guess. Um, but I, I mean, gotta have a little more effort than that, guys. It's, it's a little bad. They're honestly at that point, they're kind of lucky. They're only down two to one um, at the end of the end of the second. And shots were 21 for Ottawa and 29 for Montreal, um, and they're kind of lucky. They were they were lucky. They were a bit lucky to be only down two to one. I, I mean that's 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 it, right? <clears throat> Third period, I didn't have much hope, um, considering of how you know this. I finally kind of got got a little better in the second, and they got they got sloppy again, uh, especially in the third. Um, and one play. This is one play that I know I can tell. This was this this was the tying goal. This was it. This was going to be the tying goal. Um, Batherson is open. Stutzla passes it to Batherson, who's basically open with an open net. But Shabbat's in the way. Shabbat kind of gets in the way, and nothing happens. What the hell was Shabbat doing there in the first place? I don't understand why Shabbat was there. Why was he there? And he, oh, would have been nice to just tie that. Batherson gets his, his streak going still. But no, no Sh what the hell was Shabbat doing? I, I don't understand. Anyways, um, Shabbat had a terrible. I'm sorry, I don't care what anybody says. But I love Shabbat, don't say. But he had a terrible game this game. He had a horrible game. I haven't seen him play this bad in a very long time. I don't know if he's hurt. I don't know what it is. He had a terrible game this game. A lot of things went wrong this game. I think a lot of things. Um, and I get it. Yes, some of it's because they're tired. Maybe Shabbat's really tired. I don't know. But he had a. He gave it away how many times? He gave it away in front of the net. He gave it away. I can't even count how many times he gave it away. He didn't. He did not have a good game. Um, you know what? Kill me if you want, Sens fans. But I, I and I get. It. I know he'll come back and be awesome the next game. I know that. But he definitely did not. Sens were lucky to only, still only be down two to one. To be perfectly honest, uh, with the way they were playing, um, it seemed like the Habs were trying to not lose. If you know what I mean. They were they, they were trying to not lose. You could tell they were they were sitting back a lot. <clears throat> Ottawa can't break that. Ottawa doesn't have the skill. That's the problem. Ottawa doesn't have the skill. When the team is playing like the trap style, they don't have the skill to get around that right now. There's a few players that could maybe and but again, it's not gonna happen. Not gonna happen. And I, I kind of figured they weren't gonna score. They barely even had a chance to score even by the end of the period. I mean, they, they what happened? They they got they took the gold, they took the court out, 
and then nothing happened. And right, almost almost immediately, as soon as the cord was out, it was in the net. <clears throat> so, um, yeah, Sens need to need to figure out ways to score on those because uh, it looks like that's a kind of a hab team that we're going to be playing now. And I don't know how many more times we're playing again. So I looked it up, but uh, not that it really matters. But you're going to have to figure out ways to to get past the, the trap team. Um, but anyways, the Sens <clears throat> near the end. Sens needed to take some risks, and they didn't. It's either you take risks or you lose the game. That's basically what it's going to come down to, especially to a trap team. You're going to sit back. And it's like I felt like they were sitting back a bit. Ottawa too. You're down two to one, guys. You you can't sit back right now. You got to score. You have to. And if it doesn't go your way, at least you tried to take some risks. At least you tried. Anyway, this is a bit longer video than usual. I just a couple of things I was I was frustrated about. Um, but as always, though, I mean. Yeah, they're still young, and at least we're not losing 7-1 anymore. Um, it's still a tight game, at least. You know what? At least we weren't out of it at all. Um, I guess some of the positives were that. Uh, I'm hardening, I'm, I'm having a hard time. I try to be positive in some of my videos. I'm having a really hard time seeing any positives <clears throat> out of this game, to be honest. I don't see it was a snore fest. I mean, I don't care what anybody says. You can be a Habs fan. You can be a Sens fan. It's a bit of a snore fest, this game. And I guess you know what, but good on Montreal. They they got they got the job done. They they won the game. That's what they were looking for, right? They they know they're playing. They're fighting for a playoff spot. So Ottawa's not fighting for a playoff spot. They're playing spoiler right now. Um, so good on the Habs to do that. Hey, yeah, I'll, I'll give credit when credit's due. Um, they found a way to win, and hopefully that's what they do next week. I don't hope because I don't really care that they win. But I mean, again. I, I don't mind giving credit where credit's due. So, anyways, thank you guys for watching. Sorry, it was a bit longer than normal. I kind of went on a bit of a rant there. Um, but, yeah, please, um, if you... I don't like saying subscribe and because I, I just find, like, I don't want to beg for them. If you... I'm going to say it one time, if you don't mind. Um, I'm going to do a more. I'm going to be doing a lot more of these. And, and also, not just the game videos. Uh, sorry, the post-game videos. Also, I'm going to do um, other videos just talking about the Sands and even talking about other teams sometimes, too. Uh, I don't mind diving into other teams because I just, you know what, I love hockey. Hockey is my life. It's a passion of mine. So, yeah, please watch again if you can. Thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate it. And uh, we'll see you Thursday night. Um, I am out of town, most likely, so I'm going to have to possibly use my phone, which is going to suck, but oh well. Got to do what you got to do, all right? See you guys.